Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs, uh, 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Exodus 23, 36 to, thir uh, sorry, 26 to 32. Here's God's word. None shall miscarry or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. I will send my terror before you and will throw into confusion all the people against whom you shall come. And I will make your enemies turn their backs to you. And I will send hornets before you, which shall drive out the Hevites, the Canaanites, and the Hittites from before you. I will not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the wild beasts multiply against you. Little by little I will drive them out from before you until you have increased and possessed the land. And I will set your border from the Red Sea to the Sea of Philistines and from the wilderness to the Euphrates, or I will give the inhabitants of the land into your hand and you shall drive them out before you. You shall make no covenant with them and their gods. They shall not dwell in your land lest they make you sin against me. For if you serve their gods, it will surely be a snare to you. Exodus 23, 26 to 32. Here's the poem I wrote inspired by those verses. More instructions for moving into Canaan. God promised the Israelites a land that they will inhabit. He gave them specific instructions how to overtake it terror and confusion to the nations living in it will be experienced. Those nations will be driven slowly to ensure their takeover. And here's my commentary. In this account, we witness a God who has a very detailed plan for his people to occupy Canaan. Did you ever wonder why it took that long for that promised land that was part of the covenant he made with Abraham to be fulfilled? Why would God give them a land that had pagan inhabitants? We cannot surmise God's thoughts or ways, but we can see that God knows our hearts and abilities. If he gave that land right away to Abraham, the lineage that Jesus would be coming from won't be fulfilled. I think that it is also because of the stubborn spirit of the Israelites that prolonged the arrival at Canaan. Also, the Israelites wouldn't have propagated that much had it been for the long years they were traveling. It is interesting how the land was occupied by pagans. Maybe God wanted to show them his power to destroy these idolaters to his people so that they can rely on God for everything. God even timed the occupation slowly. He thought of everything. Reflection why should believers completely trust God's plan and timing? Well, for one, we are not infinite like God. We are very limited in what we see. We don't see the big picture like God does. Because God made us all, and He had a plan when He made us. So He knows the perfect timing and, and, and uh, what to do and what instructions to give to his people for the bigger picture to happen. So a lot of times our sinful nature overtake us and um, instead of completely trusting God, we question so many things and we rely on our own thoughts, on our own ways, on our own understanding, on our own little uh, control uh, over something. And then Sometimes we mess up God's timing and we rush because we don't, we don't see the big picture. So if God is our maker and he created us and he knows what he's doing, he did not, it, it's not like he didn't know, oh, what am I going to do with this or that? Because he knows everything. So why would it not be beneficial for us to completely you know, trust our own life and everything in our lives to Him instead of having all this um, confusion and um, struggle for power because we are powerless when it comes to God. So why, why, why not completely trust Him? Because it's important for us 
to trust and and you know what sometimes we think we do but we really don't we think we trust him but we still do our part to uh, you know suggest something to God when when we know that what we're trying to suggest is not good for us or sometimes we think it's good for us but we don't really know that it's not good for us so I think it's important for us to obey, obey completely and to um, especially when we don't understand something that's when the control struggles come in because we try to want to understand something when we are limited with that and God made boundaries between what we will understand and what he wants to show us because if he doesn't want to show us something we won't understand it but he just wants complete obedience and trust to him for us to do something that he's asking us to do thanks for watching I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks photographs and a copy of this blog please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos and give you the Word of God and if you haven't already check over 3,000 videos I've done over the years I've been doing this daily so just type on Google or YouTube search Ilma's Palm Devotional have a wonderful day